Hello everybody, Gunblade here bringing you some of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. This is a VR game that is probably one of the better VR titles out there in terms of like weapon handlings and such like that. Um, I say that because of the simple fact that you get all sorts of really, really good, uh, good gameplay in the way everything works and how everything sort of plays. Um, all because of the fact that, well, when you, when you actually try it out, you'll you'll notice that all the weapons have like realistic uh, reloading, realistic sort of functionality, whole nine yards like that. And honestly, I can't find any other game out there that even, well, that even gets uh, gets it as spot on as what H3VR does. Um, I mean, the closest one that I've seen is Bullets and More, but even then too, I kind of, I kind of think of that as like, uh, H3VR is almost like younger, younger, more, like energetic child, I guess, uh, or brother, I guess you could say, where basically it's got more to do, but that's about it. Um, it's kind of like Pavlov VR uh, that I did a little while back, um, but it's definitely not not exactly like it. Uh, obviously, it's got it's got a couple of uh, variances that I feel like as if H3 VR definitely beats out compared to any other shooter out there. So, but either way though, um, in terms of the reason for this video that I have here today, it is primarily a beta feedback towards Anton, uh, the developer of the game who, um, who has a beta build going for this game as well. Uh, Anton had been, uh, had actually, had actually, uh, implemented a few new, uh, a few new things to the game. The biggest one being, well actually two biggest ones, is faster load time for the game and its maps, well, actually not 100% certain about the maps, but uh, faster load time for the game, and even then too, even a new um, a new teleportation method too. Um, my biggest feedback here today is in relation to the to both of those, the, the startup time, especially for my rig, which has this game loading from a uh, from a magnetic hard drive that I believe spins at I want to say either 56 or 7200 RPM. I forget what the what the speed is that that I got, but um, it it actually loads up in less than 90 seconds, which is really really nice compared to what it was before. Which honestly, um, in the past it was like oh god, what was it? Three, four, almost five minutes, if not more, at times uh, to actually get it to load up. And even then, too, there were some instances where I feel like as if it was way more finicky than it needed to. This new asynchro asynchronous loading that uh, that Anton has is very, very much uh, appreciated in the way that it works. Honestly, I've not ever had any issues loading this game yet, aside from a couple of software glitches that I've had just on my computer itself. Honestly, uh, the uh, Anton, if you're watching this, the asynchronous loading, keep that. Like keep it. <laughs> I'm just going to say that now, that works beautifully. Moving on to the teleporting method, uh, you guys may actually see me toying around here in Anton's Arena prototype, which is a map that he has just for, I guess, uh, arena battles? I don't know. Um, it's it does It does work, but honestly, for something that's actually classified as Robo Recall style, it Definitely is a really really touchy setup um, compared to what you're what you're actually um, what you're actually seeing here in the arena prototype. The Robo Recall sort of uh, teleportation method actually is is a very very nice idea and very handy for front facing setups, especially considering the fact that you just simply move the thumbstick forward and use it to actually select a direction, release the thumbstick, and you're good to go. Um, that setup works. However, in H3 VR, it definitely needs to uh, needs to be uh, tweaked just because of the fact that, well, for Ocul for Vive users, it works to a certain extent for like for like short tracking or short room scale tracking. Um, but the issue comes into play when it comes to Oculus users because of the simple fact that the um, the thumbstick itself, uh, compared to the Vive, it actually detects when your finger is on the uh, is on the stick. 
To elaborate a little bit further on what I mean by it being a very touchy setup, um, what you're seeing here is actually going to be a clip of me trying to actually uh, move up a hill and in fact actually just try to move around the map and you guys may notice that I am sitting in a front facing setup like I'm like I'm like my torso is staying in the same direction but for some reason the game does not want to turn me in the direction that I want to go. Um, that, I think, is perhaps the biggest thing that needs to be tweaked, um, like there being a memory of what the last input direction was, and this should be kind of like what the, uh, what the game recognizes as the primary method, uh, or primary direction that, that you want to go until you lift your thumbstick. Now, Vive users don't exactly have this issue, because it's strictly just a trackpad. Place your finger on it, put it in the direction you want, release, and you're good to go. For, Vi uh, for Rift users like myself, uh, Vive users, where did I get that from? Um, it's uh, the the thumbstick itself is a, is a sensor unto itself, so it can detect when your when your finger is actually on the thumbstick, and therein lies the issue because it will it, it won't it won't let up the teleport until you actually well left your finger off the off the thumbstick. Similar to Robo Recall, which I'm showing you right now, um, I'm kind of showing it to you in action at this point right now. Um, it basically recognizes the direction that you want to uh, to view, but it won't actually teleport you in that direction until you let up off the thumbstick, like I, like I'm doing right now. Um, personally, I think this is kind of the, the the way it should be implemented. So this way, it's a little bit easier for front-facing users. Uh, but that's just me. It's kind. Of, it's kind of up uh, up to Anton at this point in terms of what he wants to do with it. Um, I understand he mentions that he's had a bitch of a time coding this game, so I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, if he has some trouble actually getting that uh, going again. Uh, but once again, that's just kind of my my recommendation. Right. Well, not so much recommendation, but request at this point as well. But overall, though, I mean, it, it definitely is great on paper. I actually quite like the idea behind it because it makes it so much easier for a front-facing setup to work with. Um, but it definitely needs to be tweaked in, in the fact that it just resets or defaults the direction itself. It made, it made navigating the arena at speed kind of annoying. Um, almost, almost bothersome so. Um, I mean, I can I can live with it to a certain extent, but I just found it so much easier just to do the... Uh, the uh, the teleport button instead. So, but otherwise, though, that is primarily it. Oh, um, and now that I think about it, too, uh, I did actually happen to check out the indoor uh, shooting range, too. Anton, just gonna say right now, what the hell kind of shotguns did you just put out there? Like the double barrel? <laughs> like, those are some of the smallest snub nose shotguns I've ever seen. <laughs> um, honestly, just. Just those shotguns, I don't even think they're even worth using at, at at anything beyond, like, five meters. Like, I mean, they hit almost nothing. And, I mean, it, it works, but it's, it's like, how, how does one even use this? How, how is this a thing? Um, and, frankly, I can't really even understand the way that even, that even works, but... Even then, too, it, uh, it definitely is kind of a nice personal defense weapon, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's kind of a weird weapon, to say the least. So, But anyways, though, um, that's primarily it in terms of H3VR. Um, my initial thoughts on the game thus far, uh, since it's an early access, if I had to say anything about it, it's that I wish there was more to do. Um, Anton has made has made promises in relation to having more to do, but I kind of wish that there was like, uh, like say a proper full-on PvP map with a with a lot of enemies or what have you in it. Not so much the uh, the wiener bots, but I mean something a bit more substantial. Um, the arena prototype is actually a pain in the ass at times too, but it it is okay, I guess, in terms of a short stint, but. I mean, I just, I just kind of wish that, that that I could hang out with my friends. Though I understand the whole, uh, the whole uh, subject behind what Anton was saying in terms of the multiplayer. Um, having to code just the base game and also a multiplayer setup for it would actually be a pain in the ass. And I can understand what he, why he kind of, um, why he kind of did not want to do it. 
But even then, too, you can't you can't help but kind of wish for it, you know. Still, I guess it does kind of make a uh, make f make for a nice sort of uh, family game. Or well, not so much family, but uh, sort of um, what am I trying to th think of here? A challenge game, if you will, where you can actually challenge your friends. Hey, try to beat this score uh, on the indoor shooting range uh, with so many shots. I mean, even then, too, it is kind of easy to manufacture those points anyways. But um, still, I mean, it is it is definitely definitely a good game. And I would actually recommend it for anyone wanting like a game to sort of relax with. Um, general feedback towards Anton, though. Uh, if you are looking for a couple of weapon recommendations to implement into the game, I've got a couple of ideas there. Um, AN-94, uh, AK-12, um, the M16A4, since I understand that there's only the A1 model there, the Vietnam Air Rifle, um, as well as the AA-12, just to name a few. Um, I can list off a couple of others too, but... Just for the sake of time, I'm not going to really do it here. I may go ahead and put it into the Steam forms, which those of you watching here that are subscribers of my channel, I do suggest uh, uh, either picking up this game or at least adding to the discussion itself for those of you that are Rift or Vive users, uh, because honestly, this game deserves a lot more support than it's already getting, at least I think so. Um, nevertheless, though, uh, that's pretty much it for H3VR. If you guys like this video, be sure to click the like button down below to let me know. And if you also want to help my channel grow, feel free to subscribe and spread the word as well. Otherwise, uh, thanks again guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!